I say it's good to be in the Lord's house. Unworthy to be here. Uh, the Lord's laid this message on my heart, and I've had it for a while. I've had this message since I announced my call to preach. Never been able to preach, but the Lord's laid it on us tonight, so we're going to try our best. I love the singing tonight, and the singing has been phenomenal since we opened the doors of the church and come in. But we just right there at the end, we was talking about dying on a battlefield and laying our armor down to the side. And I want you to know if you're in a battle tonight that there is a place where you can get a little bit of help. Yep. And if you're going through a hard spot, and I've been in those, and I've been inside of a battle where sometimes it feels like I'm kicking up against a brick wall yeah. and can't get nowhere. Yeah. Like sometimes that whenever we try to press on a little farther, we can't go nowhere. Ain't got no help. But I want to read tonight about a little bit of help that the Lord's given us. Yeah. Uh, you see, I never looked at it this way until the Lord had given me this message five years ago, just about. Yeah. And uh, yeah. never seen it this way ever since. And I preached the same scripture, but the Lord's laid this on our hearts. Yeah. So if you got your Bibles in Genesis chapter number 22. I'm going to read about Abraham and Isaac, very familiar scripture, but I just want to read just a couple verses, if you will. The Lord's been good to us tonight. Amen. I feel like it is our job to keep on the battlefield and keep pressing on. Abraham was one of them that battled. Until the day he died, he battled, I believe, with everything he had in him. In verse number 6, in Genesis chapter number 22, and verse number 6, it says, And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son. And he took the, took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. Then Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father... And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide help. A lamb for a, provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together and they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called upon him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing that thou withheld, that thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him, a ram caught in the thicket and by his thorns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering Amen. instead of his son. You may be seated. I want to preach it on a little ball. I don't plan on standing long, but I want you to know that if you're going through the hard time, that the ram is on the way. I want you to know that no matter how hard your battle is, you see, this was a hard thing for Abraham to do. Oh, it was a hard battle for Abraham to make his son. I looked at this, it was just like Jesus. You see, he had to carry his own wood and be put it on the altar. Yeah. Just like Christ did the cross. But you see, whenever he got up there, I was a cool daddy and said, Daddy, where's the burnt offering? We have everything in it. But there's one thing that we lack. And that's the offering. Amen. But you see, whenever he got down there, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and he told him, Abraham, Abraham. Yeah. I liked his response. He said, Here am I. <laughs> you know what he did? He turned around and, and he saw the little ram stick yeah. right there in the thick. Yeah. You see, if you battle in a tough time today, yeah. your ram is on the way. Yeah. I don't believe it. Just you're asking us here for no reason. <laughs> 
<laughs> didn't plan on preaching or not until yeah. last night. And Tommy texted me and uh, I was around some wicked people last night whenever Tommy sent me that message. <laughs> Drinking and everything going on for a fundraiser. But yeah, my cousin looked over and he said, what's that about? And I said, tomorrow night. He said, that's good. And I said, yeah, it is. I got back in the truck and the Lord placed it on my heart. <laughs> you see, whenever he took Abraham, yeah, be cool. he bound Isaac and made sure that he wasn't run from him. Oh, he bound him up where he had no way to go. Sometimes I feel that way. Uh -huh. yeah. See, I'm going into battle. I feel like I am just can't move no more. Right. Got my foot stuck in a trap or something. Yeah. Can't move. But I want you to know tonight that even though he was bound, that the Lord still sent a ram to him. Yeah. You see, Abraham, he be, I better, I believe he battled this the whole way up the mountain. I believe it was a hard journey. You see, because he went to the exact place that the Lord has told him to go. You see, if we're going to the exact battle that the Lord tells us to battle with, our lamb and our rams on the way. You see, whenever he got up there, the Lord took care of Abraham. But he also took care of us. Amen. Where I'd like to get our thought tonight, if you will, is from Isaac. Yeah, people. You see, he, he, he took out, he took care of Abraham. That way he didn't have to kill his own son. And a lot of times I feel like we are some Abraham sometimes in the battles that we're in, battling for people. And they're laid up on the altar and we're doing everything we can for them. But then the ram gets caught in the thicket and Isaac's the one that got saved, not Abraham. He yeah, said, if we keep battling like Abraham, the lost people that we keep going to battle for, but them rams, they'll get God caught in the thicket. Yeah. And we'll get to bring them up there and they'll get saved. Yeah. And just get them through the back door of the church. Get them up to the offering place, yeah. if you will. Yeah. You see, Isaac had to be at the offering. Yeah. He prepared the wood. He had yeah. to carry it. Yeah. He battled with it the whole entire way. But you know what he did, Brother Rodney? He had to be at the offering place. You see, I believe there's a lot of Christians right now. We're going yeah, through some trials, man. Yeah. We're battling some battles right now. Yeah. But most of all, yeah. I want you to know, Brother Lee, there is a way to yeah, See, the ram yeah. is stuck in the thing. Yep, yeah, he's saying. Woo! The ram is stuck in the thing real close by. Yeah. You see, there is a way out. I've got a brother. I don't know if he's saved or lost. But I can tell you right now, the ram is ready in his place. Yep. I've been battling and I've been dealing with it. But I'll tell you right now, the ram is there. It's just about whether or not we're ready to get him to the office. Yeah, God help. Lord help. You see, I, I got there to the house this evening. I, I was going to I got there to study and Abby fell asleep on the couch. I got to pray and I got to search and I said, Lord, I said, I don't even have my notes from whenever I wrote this thing out five years ago. I said, I ain't got a single note of it. And I got to sit there thinking. And I said, I, I got to have a little jot points to note right down and base my message off of so I can recall. I mean, that's five years ago. And I got to pray and I went over here and opened the closet door and the blue notebook fell off the top of the top of the shelf. And I said, uh, well, I don't know what that is. It was my notes. And whenever I first started preaching, I filled up a notebook just about full of my notes. I looked off through it and couldn't find it. I dug a little bit deeper through that notebook and I found a little piece of paper. It's about that wide and about that long. It had every note I needed on it. You yeah. see, that was a ram for me today. Yeah. So it was fun. As many people died, but that was my ram today. I want you to know, no matter how hard your battle is, no matter how small you think it is, your ram's there. Amen. Your ram's there. Yep. Yep. I believe that there's always been a way of escape. That's right. Yeah, See, we, we, read, we read it and we've heard it read that the Lord will never put too much on us that we can't bear. Yeah. But he says, with a way of escape. We've got it. I've had it since I was a five-year-old boy. I got my way of escape every time I get in the hard spot. I've had it just like Abraham did. You see, because that time that I get tough and I get burned down, the angel comes over me and says, Zach, Zach, 
You're right, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah. There's an answer. You're right, I'm right here. And I don't want you to know it. Amen. No matter what you're going through, your right, I've been here. Yeah. Been here since the day the church was opened up. Yes, the altar right there. But it ain't just the altar. It's who's waiting there for you. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. See, I don't believe the Lord's got the ram right there by the horse yeah. and they're holding him back for yeah. you. Wanting you to come up and get him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going through a hard battle. There's a way out, ain't there? Yeah. Amen. I've always found a way out. Name. Hardest battles I've ever been in. I've been in some rough ones right there. Some rough ones. But you know what? Never once have I lost a woman because you know what? Because yeah. I never fought on her to begin with. The ram showed up and said, all right, I got the rest of this. Go over somewhere. You know what that did whenever that ram showed up? Whenever her cut eyes loose. Let him stand up behind him and they, they sacrificed that lamb right there. And you know what I said whenever I, I, I fell asleep over at hell? I got to dreaming and thinking about this. I believe whenever that lamb come, whenever that ram come up there, they, they bound him up and laid him on there and cut Isaac loose. And I believe Isaac was terrified whenever he saw his dad with the knife over him. The lady started crying and begging him not to, begging him. And I, I would. <laughs> but still, what happened whenever that ram got up there? I don't believe that Isaac got down there on his knees, started thanking God for the ram. And then Abraham got down beside of him and started thanking God for the ram. He said, it's time tonight that we start knowing that the ram's there. And then we right. thank God for it. Right. Right. Amen. 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 See, there many a time. God help us. I didn't know how I was going to make it through a day. I didn't know how I was going to make it through a battle. But the ram showed up there for me. And you know what I was doing a long time? I'm grabbing that ram and use that ram and never thank God for it after God help us. It's time that we thank God for it. You see, that Amen. ram, whenever they did the burn offering, that was there with thanks to God. Yeah. That's exactly what that was doing. So tonight, you're Isaac. You've been battling for Isaac for a while. You're Abraham. If you think of it as yourself, you'll be Abraham. And you've been battling for an Isaac for a while. We're going through a battle, if you will. So your ram's ready. I believe your ram's been here since the service opened. And I, there's been some of them found it. And you know, tonight we ought to be thankful for the ram once we receive it. There's never been a gift that I've ever gotten. Never amounted to nothing other than that one day. Whenever I was a five year old boy, and the Lord pulled that ram out of the thicket and put him in my place. And now ever since then, I've used that ram many a time. That's the Lord. Yeah. You see, I've been through many different battles, many different trials throughout my life. And there's always been a way of escape. There's always been a ram there Bless to the plead Lord. my case. Amen. And you know what? Bless the Lord. Be there tomorrow whenever I need him. He'll be there the next day whenever I need him. Whenever times get tough, that baby gets here and I don't know what I'm going to do, bill wise, or anything else. You know what I'll do? I'll go grab my ram that the Lord set aside for me. And I'm going to use it to the best of my ability. Because He has ordained it and set it aside for me. See, that wasn't made for nobody else. That was Abraham's line, a ram right there on the side. Wasn't right. nobody else. Because yep. you know why? There wasn't nobody else there. <laughs> Amen. Been there a lot of times whenever I'm in a place by myself and the ram walks out. And I've sat there question, who's that for, Lord? Yeah. No, and the whole time I'm the only one there. Yeah. It's for me. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Lord. It's not the time. I believe it. Now it's a better time than any. Right. If you're in a battle, yep. Bert, I want to die on the battlefield with you. Yeah. But you know how I can. Because the Lord set the ram out for me to give me a way of escape out of it. You see, I'm going to battle for it. I'm going to battle till my last yeah, breath Lord. if the Lord will help Amen. me. But only because God He set that lamb out for whenever times get tough. He set that ram out to let me get a little break every now and then. Let me get a little bit of help every now and then. You see, your ram's here tonight. I believe we're going to go back in the world tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Worst day of the week. If you ask me, because i got to go in at 5.30 in the morning, wake up and go to work. Never I've had a long weekend off. Hey, but you know what? Whenever I go in, the first thing I'm going to hear in the morning, bad language, bad talk, and everything else. But you know what there was? 
there was a ram right there for me every single time I've asked yep. for it. Right. Say, Paul, if I get up in the morning and I sit there and pray, Brother Josh, and say, Lord, I need your help today. Amen. There's always been a ram. Yep. Yep. Never once. Amen. He's able to let me down. Right. Gather and sing the song. He's always been faithful to me. Yep. And you know, every time that I went through that, there's always been a ram, and he's always been faithful in it. Amen. I'm about done and I'm about to hush, but I want you to know tonight that there is a way of escape for you. Yep. No matter whether or not you're facing hell. If you're facing hell tonight and, and you're lost and a sinner and you're going to die and go to hell one day, there is a way of escape. Yep. And it is here. But if you are a saved person and you are a Christian living the best that you can or whether you're not... I want you to know that them battles get tough. There's a way of escape. The ram is called up here tonight, and the Lord's holding it. You say, oh, I've read this and preached it many different times, the same scripture. Never once looked at it that way. But I want you to know that the ram is there. Yeah. yeah. And I always have it. Yeah, it's true. Your answer, your escape. Yeah. There's always a door. Yeah, yeah. You say, I got two doors on my house. I wouldn't walk out the front one. Right there ain't no porch on it. But you can walk out that back and got some cinder blocks you step out on, and that's a way of escape sometimes. Yeah. But you know what? Now come in here, and there's two doors, and I don't want to use either one of them to escape. I want to use the ram right there. Yeah. You see, the old timers called it a mourner's bench and everything else. But not it for me, it's a ram. Yeah. It might be different for anybody else, but for me, it's a ram. Right. So y'all battled many different battles in my life. But the Ram's always been there. <laughs> From the time I was a five-year-old boy, whenever I knew that my name was written down in the Lamb's Book of Life like we sung earlier, yep. it was because the Ram was there. Right. Mm -hmm. And then again, whenever right. I got through some tough times, the Ram's always been there. Throughout everything in my life, there's always been a Ram. But most of all, there's always been someone who sent the Ram. You see, the angel had to tell Abraham that the ram was stuck there. Many a time, the Lord has to sit in something to tell me, hey, she escapes right there. Because you know what I'll do? I'll get so hard-headed in my battle, and I'll start breaking down on him, and <laughs> pouting, doing everything else. Yeah. And never really, all the time, the Lord has been sitting there, your ram's over here. Amen. Yeah. That's right. yeah. That's your right. ram's over here. The whole time, I ain't never doing nothing with it. But tonight, you see, you see, I'm not there, I promise. But your brain's here. Your tough times. Your battles that you go through. You know what it is. We don't have to deal with none of them. The Lord just wants to see whether or not we're faithful to Him enough to go ahead and cry. See, that's what Abraham did right there. He went out and tried to battle with this and tried to take his son up there and do what the Lord had asked him to do. Yeah, and you know what he did? He was about to come down with it, be completely yeah. obedient to it. Yep. And the angel of the Lord showed up to him and said, Hey, right there's your choice. Yeah. Go ahead and take it. Tonight that's your choices. Amen. You're going through a hard time, you can keep trying to do it yourself. It ain't going to work. Right. Amen. You see, I've been in them. A 20 year old boy, I've been in them. Yep. But most of all, I'm thankful for those rams. Thank you, Lord. Lord. got something to yeah. for me. Yeah. You may be going through it tonight, and I don't know nobody's heart. But I can tell you this the Lord has made an escape for us. Yeah. And the ones that are His yeah. yeah. have been an escape for us since the day that we asked Him into our lives. Yeah. And tonight it's the rams stuck in the thicket. Tonight it's your choice. The way the officer will come and get it here. He's waiting and holding it for you. Amen. Amen. <coughs> come get us on. I said, if they would, get us on. I think when Abraham was coming up one side, the rams are coming up the other. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know when... Or how God's going to deliver us. But what he's promised to do is deliver us. And that means that whatever the need is, God has the answer for that need. You see, before there was ever sin in a garden, there was a Savior. God already had the answer before there was ever a problem. And that hadn't changed. In your life or mine, 
The fact that we can't see it's probably because we hadn't we hadn't looked around yet. But God's already got the answer. I'm glad that I've got one that I can go to. He said, cast your care on me, for I care care for you. I've got one that knows my every need, and he's able to deliver us today. Stand with us if you would. I don't know your heart, but if you're here tonight and you need to pray, let's take it to the Lord in prayer. That God provide the answer that you need tonight. As we sing.